everyone, my name is Audrey and I'm the Education Programs Manager here at the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum. And welcome to Storytime with Audrey. Today we are going to be reading Welcome to Texas, illustrated by Asa Gilland. And I do want to give a special shout out to the Waco McLennan County Public Library because that's where we got the book for today's story time. All right, let's get started. Welcome to Texas. Texas is big. It's the second largest state in the USA. It has big ranches, big farms, big forests, and big cities. The word Texas comes from the Native American Caddo people, who were among the first to live on this land. The Caddo word Tasha means friend. A big state like Texas needs three official state mammals. The first one is the Texas Longhorn. Can you guess how the Texas Longhorn got its name? The horns on these cattle can grow as long as 10 feet across. And then the nine-banded armadillo. This clever creature keeps safe with its armor of hard scales. It finds insects to eat by burying its snout in the ground. And last, the Mexican free-tailed bat. In Austin, from spring to early fall, you can see Mexican free-tailed bats flying from under the Congress Avenue Bridge when the sun is setting. How many are there? 1.5 million. The state bird of Texas is the mockingbird. It loves to chirp and tweet, and it even sings the songs of other birds and animals. But don't let that pretty song fool you. It's also a fierce fighter. If an animal or person gets near its nest, the mockingbird will swoop down fast to scare the intruder away. The state flower of Texas is the blue bonnet. It got its name because its petals look like the bonnets, which pioneer women in Texas used to wear to keep the hot sun off their heads. You may hear Texans say, remember the Alamo. They are talking about a famous battle in San Antonio when Texans fought to make Texas a separate country. You can still go to the Alamo today. Texas was its own country for nine years. In 1845, it joined the United States. Mexico is just across the border from Texas, and many Mexican people call Texas home. On Christmas Eve, it is traditional for Mexican families in Texas to make and eat tamales which are corn husks filled with cornmeal dough, meat, cheese, or vegetables. Feliz Navidad! Texans love food. Luckily, Texas is, is a state with lots of good things to eat. We're gonna name some of the ones on the page. There's tacos, hamburgers, queso, chicken fried steak, barbecue, chili, kolaches, enchiladas, fried okra, pecan pie, and sweet tea, along among many, many more. Which of these is your favorite? Texans also love football. In cities and towns across the state, Fans gather on Friday nights to watch high school games. Go team! Would you like to meet a real cowboy or cowgirl? You can at Rodeo Houston. As a livestock show, watch cows being milked, honeybees buzzing in a hive, and chicks hatching from eggs. Grab your cowboy boots and hats and let's go. A big place
place like Texas has a lot of unusual things to see if you're out for a drive. One being Cadillac Ranch. Are those cars growing out of the ground? Artists created this strange ranch in Amarillo by burying 10 Cadillacs nose down. Visitors from all over the world have painted the cars bright colors. And then there's Big Tex. Look way up and say howdy to Big Tex, a 55 foot high cowboy who towers over the state fair of Dallas, of Texas in Dallas. And then there's Miss Pearl, the giant squirrel. Cedar Creek is home to Miss Pearl, the world's tallest squirrel statue. Why is she holding a giant pecan? Nearby is a vending machine that sells freshly baked pecan pies. If you love Texas, then you are a Texas kid. And Texas kids are the best. The end. All right, I want to thank you all so much for joining us for today's story time with Audrey, and I hope you can join us next time. Bye bye now.